Promise me you'll keep your glasses on. I promise. Good girl. Bye, Mom. Go to school. Amara, are you wearing your glasses? Yes, I'm wearing them. Amara, keep your glasses on. They're on. Why does everyone care so much? I wonder what will happen if I took them off. Nothing's good. Did you just take off your glasses? Nope. Mom, I'm back. Hey, honey, how was school? Did you take your glasses off? No, I didn't. Okay, get changed. I'm making dinner. I never want to see that again. Is that why they kept telling me to keep my glasses on? Are you ready for school? Yeah. Don't forget to keep your glasses on. Trust me. I won't make that mistake again. Wait, what do you mean? Nothing. Finally, you're here. Did you study for the test? Yeah, I was studying all night. Did you? Yeah, come. We're going to be late. Here's your papers. Make sure you write your name first. Watch out, loser. Watch out, loser. Give me my glasses. Why do you care so much? Just get them. Okay, okay, here you go. Oh no. They're broken. Amara, we're in the middle of a test. You need to concentrate. Fine. Okay, class, time's up. I'm coming to collect the papers. Why are you staring at the because floor? Because I want to, okay? Just take the paper and leave. Don't speak to me like that. Should I call the principal? No, please. Just look. I'm sorry, okay? Hey, Mom, I'm back. Where's your glasses? They broke. Here, have these. Finally. What happened? Tell me everything. Finally. What happened? Tell me everything. The bully pushed me and my glasses fell off. What did you see? I really don't want to talk about it. I totally understand. I see things with my glasses off too. Really? What do you see? People's future jobs. Oh, I see something different. Just tell me when you're ready. Should I tell her? Fine, whatever. Maybe she knows how to fix this. Mom, I'm ready to tell you what I saw. What did you see, honey? I saw my whole class without their clothes on. What? It will rain every time I sleep or every time I eat. Sleep, of course, because usually it's good to sleep while it rains. Mom, can you take me to school? I can't take you because I have work to do. But I'm going to be late. That's not my problem. This is the right time to try out my strength. Wait, what? How comes it's suddenly raining so much? Okay, fine. I'll take you to school. Hey, Emily. Why do you look so sad? Jake, he's dating Stephanie. And what's wrong with that? We were childhood friends. I thought one day me and him... Come on, stop crying. You should never cry for a boy. I'm not going to maths class later. On. Yeah, as always, you skip maths to go play basketball. No, this time I have permission. I'm going to Germany for a basketball game. Just pray it doesn't rain. Don't worry, it won't rain. I'm not sleepy. What do you mean, babe? Um, nothing. Have a safe flight. Why do I feel so sleepy? Why is it raining? Amara, wake up! What's wrong? You scared me. How come the rain stopped immediately? Try sleeping again. Gosh, you can control the rain. Yes, it rains every time I sleep. Whoa, so cool. Have you done the homework? Huh? What homework? So I said, anyone who hasn't done the homework is getting a detention. I'll just sleep. So I called the principal and said he's not coming in for the next lesson because it's raining. But what about the homework? I know you slept so that sir wouldn't check our homework. Yeah, so what? I know your boyfriend would be really angry with you because you made it rain. Oh yeah, I forgot he had a flight to Germany today. Honey, remember, Justin has a flight today. Don't sleep so it doesn't rain. Wait, what did mom just say? What did mom just say? Amara, wake up! I didn't even sleep. Yes, you've been sleeping for five hours. I've been trying to wake you, but you didn't wake up. Five hours? How about Justin's flight to Germany? I don't know, but hopefully he'll arrive safely to his destination. Amara, I got news about Justin. His flight got cancelled and postponed until tomorrow. <sighs> Thank God he's safe. This time you have to watch out. You can't sleep. 
This is all your fault. My flight got postponed because of you. I'm sorry. I forgot you had a flight. If you sleep again today, I'm breaking up with you. Don't. I still love you. Do you promise not to fall asleep until I get to Germany? I promise. It's already midnight. It's time for you to go to sleep, honey. No, I don't want to sleep until Justin gets to his destination. He hasn't left yet, so it's okay if it rains. No, today I'm not sleeping at all. Okay, up to you, but don't say I didn't tell you. Hey, guys. Oh my gosh, Amara, you look really tired. Didn't you sleep tonight? No, I can't sleep yet. Class, we're going to be taking an exam. Exam? Ugh, I can't. Amara, what are you doing? It's starting to rain. Don't sleep. I'm really sleepy. I don't think I can do this exam. Don't worry. I'll help you. You look tired. How long until your flight? I'm going to the airport now. My flight is in one hour. Don't sleep. Yeah, okay? don't worry. I won't put you in danger. Okay, I trust you. I need to go now. Bye. Mom, I'm home. Remember, honey, don't sleep. I'll make you a coffee. Maybe it will help. Yeah, make it extra strong. My eyes are burning. Let me just close them for a moment. Why is there a storm outside? Amara, wake up! Amara, wake up! Wow, you're really stubborn. It's time I try something else. Ouch! You're hurting me! Why are you pinching me? You've slept for two hours and now there's a storm. Sorry, Mom. I'm just too tired. How was Justin's flight? Still no news. Maybe he's still on the plane. <sighs> Amara, you slept again. What is wrong with you? You put Justin's life in danger. I know. I'm sorry. I didn't sleep all night. Have you heard anything back from him? No. I thought he would call you once he arrived. He still hasn't called. Let me know if he does. Did you see what happened down the road? There was a flood and so many cars got damaged. Yes, I know. The water reached my house as well. This is really bad. I really hope they can catch the person responsible for this. Me too. Who are you calling? I've been trying to call Justin, but he's not answering. It's your fault if something bad happens to him. Stop making me feel guilty. I think we have to destroy Amara. It's true. She's causing trouble for everyone. Oh my gosh, look. That's her. Hey, I'm having a hard time too because I'm trying to not fall asleep for all of you. It's better if we just get rid of her now. You think that will solve the problem? If you get rid of me, I'll sleep forever. That means there's going to be a storm forever. Why is there no news about the plane? I'm starting to get worried. This is the girl. What are you doing? Why is the police here? Because you're responsible for Justin's disappearance. What? No, I'm not. And besides, no one knows what happened to him. Maybe his phone died or something. Justin's finally calling me, Mom. Come on, pick up. We're all worried. Hey, babe, where are you? Is it true that this is Justin's girlfriend? Huh? This is not Justin's voice. I get to build my soulmate? Hell yeah. Hmm. A boy. Hmm. Both are nice, but I'll go with blue. Blue eyes, blonde hair versus blue eyes, brown hair. It's obvious. Did you finish building your soulmate yet? Not yet. I still have a few things I need to do. Bye, mom. I'm going to the shopping center. Do you need anything? No, thank you. Have fun. Whoa. I wasn't done building you. Uh, what? Nothing. Hey, you didn't tell me your name. Oh, yeah. My bad. My name is... Hey, you didn't tell me your name. Oh yeah, my bad. My name's Chris. But aren't you Caleb? I picked Caleb, not Chris. Caleb is my twin brother. Yes, that's him. That's my soulmate. Where is he? He's your soulmate? Yes. Uh-oh. What? Uh, he's getting married tomorrow. What? I knew it. Something had to go wrong. Should've just picked to meet him. I can help talk him out of it if you want. But you said it's tomorrow. Yeah, but I'm sure if his soulmate shows up, he'll change his mind. I don't know. Do you really want your soulmate to marry someone no. else? No. Then meet me tomorrow. Here's the address. Be there by 12. Honey, look. The news says there's a new queen. She looks exactly like the queen I just grew. That's strange. They actually do look the same. Honey, there's something strange going on. I think our daughter has a special ability. 
Everything she draws comes to life. How do you know that? This morning she drew a queen and it looked exactly like the queen that appeared in the news. Mommy, look, I drew candy. That's good, honey. But you have to listen to me, okay? You can't draw something bad ever. Otherwise, something terrible will happen. Why? Mommy, I drew a teddy bear. I want it. Honey, give it to your sister. You can just draw another one. Yay! I saw you draw something bad in the ocean. What did you draw? Tell me now. I drew a sea monster who eats everyone they see in the ocean. But your sister's in the ocean. Why would you do that? I know. Why did you do it? Because she stole my teddy bear. I told you just to draw another one. Draw her back to life now. Fine. Oh, thank God you're back. I'm taking that stupid book of yours. No! I don't think you should have taken that book away from her. What was I supposed to do? She's dangerous. We have to send her away. But she's our daughter. We can't do that. Honey, me and your dad are going out for an hour. Don't do anything stupid, okay? Okay. I need to find that book. We're home. How did she get that book? I locked it away in the safe. Don't worry, mommy. I won't draw anything bad again. My parents love Don't worry, mommy. I promise I won't draw anything bad again. Why is there so many puppies in our house? I drew them. Aren't they cute? But I'm allergic to dogs. Erase them now. No. I'm going to draw so much candy and an ice cream machine and more animals. This is not okay. You made this place look like a whole farm. No, I didn't. This place is so much more fun now. Honey, I made you your favorite cookie. <gasps> Chocolate. Mommy, I tried drawing a huge living teddy bear, but it's not appearing. Oh, that's too bad. See the cookie you just ate? I put a potion in it, so now you lost all your powers. What? I'm so sorry, honey, but it's for the best. Now, let's get rid of all the animals, shall we? Three, two, one. Are you safe? Yeah, I'm safe. How far is your danger? 300,000 miles away. Oh, so you have nothing to worry about then. Honey, please make sure you lock all the doors and all the windows when I'm Mom, gone. Mom, relax. The danger's literally so far away. Aren't you scared? No, why would I be? The danger's like on the other side of the world. You do know that the danger's only purpose is yeah, to find Yeah, so? You. I'm not going to walk around worrying about it all day. Looks like someone's going the wrong way. Amora, have you heard? Emily's danger found her. She's gone. What do you mean, gone? I mean gone as in forever. Damn. How did he get so close that fast? No way he actually did that to her. That's actually so funny. Are you okay? Amara, what's wrong? Amara, what's wrong? Nothing. Are you sure? You look a little pale. They're in the same town as me. What? Who's in the same town as no me? No one. I need to go. Honey, why are you locking all the doors? Just in case anything bad happens. Why do you say that? Is your danger closed? <sighs> no, mom, just please. Leave all the doors closed. Okay, come on, dinner's on the table. I don't really feel like eating right now. Why not? You're always excited for dinner. I'm kind of tired. I'm just going to go to my room. Good night, honey. Love you. Love you too, Mom. Mom, what time is it? It's 6 a.m. Why are you up so early? No reason. I just couldn't sleep. I can't believe I actually made it through the night. Okay, class. I hope you're all ready for the test. Miss, can I go to the bathroom? Attention everyone, please evacuate the school immediately. Please evacuate the school immediately. This is all my fault. Can Amara please make way to the head office? Nope, I'm staying here in the bathroom. There is no way I'm going anywhere. Whoever still haven't evacuated the school, you can come out now. It's safe. So it worked. All I had to do was hide. Amara, where were you? Are you okay? I'm fine. I was just hiding in the bathroom. I was looking everywhere for you. I thought you were in danger. Oh no, I'm fine. Honey, I'm so glad you're okay. I heard what happened. Apparently someone's danger came to the school. Oh yeah, but they didn't stay for long. I don't think they found the person they were looking for. Mom, where's Liam? Wasn't he supposed to be back from his trip today? Oh, your brother? He'll be here soon. Honey, please open the door. I think Liam's here. Do not open the door. Honey, why are you scared? Mom, just please don't. You can't let him in. I'm not going to leave your brother out in the cold. Wait! Amara, did you miss me? Why do you look so scared? It's not like I'm your danger. 
Mom, I'm tired. Can I just go to my room? Yes, of course you can, honey. I know this might sound crazy, but I think my brother's trying to kill me. Why do you think so? Because my danger says zero miles away and it happened as soon as he got here. There has to be another explanation. Just try to get some sleep. Make sure your door is closed. I will. Honey, you can come downstairs. Everyone's gone. Is Liam gone too? Yes. Why are you so scared of him anyway? I'm just going to go to sleep, okay? This is so confusing. Mom? Mom's not here, but I am. Mom? Your mom's not here, but I am. Are you going to kill me? No, I'm not going to kill you. What do you mean? Isn't that like your whole purpose? I'm not going to kill you, at least not for now. I'm going to keep you around for a bit. What does that even mean? Listen to me carefully. You can't tell anyone that you saw me, okay? Otherwise, you'll regret So you're expecting me to act like nothing happened? Exactly. Just keep your mouth shut and I won't hurt you. Okay. Hey, Amara, can you stay after class, please? I need to speak to you. Okay, sure. So, what did you want to talk to me about? I'm just making sure you're okay. You don't seem like yourself. Yeah, I'm okay. Are you sure? Did your danger find you? What? Me? Why would you say that? You know you can talk to me, right? I'm not going to tell anyone. Yeah, you. I need to go. That's so weird. How did she know? Amara, get in the car now. What? Why are you picking me up? Mom's going to wonder where I am. Don't worry. Your mom knows exactly where you are. Where are you taking me? There's something I needed to do for me. What is it? I need you to become a danger. Wait, what? I need a partner and I thought you'd be the perfect Is that partner. like impossible? Of course it's possible and you're going to do it. Out of everyone, why do you want me to be a danger? Because deep down me and you are the same. You just don't know it yet. No, we're nothing alike. Stop talking. Now you're officially a danger. The thing with a bunch of numbers shows how far away the person you need to get is. It looks like we're getting closer. We're here. Perfect. Now get out of the car. Wait, this is my best friend's house. I'm sorry, I can't do this. You don't have a choice. Amara, how did you get in? Are you okay? I'm so sorry for this. Mommy, what's this thing above my head? What's what? It says years until skeleton. And it has numbers next to it. Honey, there's nothing above your head. Hey sis, wanna do something today? No thanks. Please, you only have three years left before you die. Amara, I told you so many times, stop saying things like that. You're scaring your sister. I'm not trying to scare her. I already told you, I can see how much time people have left before they die. Stop with that nonsense. Amara, can you check how many years I have? Yeah, sure. 20 years. That's not true. I don't even know why I asked you anyway, you freak. Do you think she's lying about seeing how many years people have left to live? Yeah, she's therefore doing it for the attention. I don't get it. Why does no one believe me? They just think I'm crazy. Wait. Three days? Wait. Three days? But it said 70. Why did it change to three? Didn't my sisters want also say three days? Does that mean we're going to die in the same day? Hey sis. Let me guess. You're here to tell me when I'm going to die again? No. I'm here to tell you I have three days left to live too. Amara, can you please just stop with that? I'm serious. You have to believe me. I'm done with this conversation. Mom, me and Olivia are both going to die in three days. Amara, we've spoken about this. Can you not go and do something useful with your life, like pack for that camping trip on Friday? Friday? That's in three days! Sorry, Mom, but I have to go. I need to fix this. Olivia, we can't go on that camping trip. You're not going to ruin this for me. I'm going. Olivia, we can't go on that camping trip. You're not going to ruin this for me. I'm going. Please, just listen to me. I don't care. I've been waiting to go on this trip since, like, fourth grade. Are you sure we can't just stay at home and do something fun? Amara, if you want to stay at home, then be my guest, but I'm going. I'm not going to let you go alone. You guys ready for the trip? So ready. Perfect. We're going to be getting on a short boat trip to the island. Boat trip? Okay, we should be arriving in the next 10 minutes. What was that? I don't know. Let me check with the captain. So what did he say? Okay, so bad news. What? The captain's dead. Please give me a red hair and let me be the richest person. Huh? Why didn't my hair kind of change, Mom? You have to wait 24 hours for it to appear. 24 hours? How am I supposed to prove to my friends that I'm rich? This is so stupid. My hair color's red. It means I'm rich. Yeah, my hair color's blue. 
I'm at a high level. What's your hair color, um, Brown? It hasn't appeared yet. Well, if it doesn't appear within 24 hours, you're done. We won't ever be friends again. What? Today we'll be learning division. Those with red hair enters the highest class, and those with blue enters the lowest. What class do I enter, sir? The outstanding class. Outstanding class? Yes. Why is there no one in this outstanding class? I'm the only one. The teacher's so annoying. White hair? I thought only red and blue existed. Why is your hair color white? Sir, what does white hair mean? Why is your hair color white? Sir, what does white hair mean? I don't think it means anything. No meaning? I suggest you go to the hairdresser and change your hair to another color. Okay, sir. Did you guys see Amara's white hair? Finally, someone with a different hair color. I want her hair. Sir, why is everyone looking at me? Ignore them. Follow me to the hairdresser. Okay. We've arrived. Please close your eyes while they fix your hair. Amara, there's something I want to ask you. Excuse me, sir. What did you want to say? I need a piece of your hair for research purposes. What? No! Oh my gosh, look at her hair. It's white. I wonder how much money we'd make if we sold it. Why are people so weird? Hey, white hair, follow me. No, you're a stranger. Just hurry up. Let go of me. Who are you? Listen, I'm here to save you. Why won't you hide? Hide? Oh, you still don't realize that they're against your white hair, do you? Let go of me. Who are you? I'm here to help you. Why won't you hide? Hide? So you still don't realize that they're against your white hair, do you? Why would they be against it? Your hair is magical. You can ask it anything and it will do it. Anything? Yes, they want to cut your hair because if they cut it, it won't work anymore. So I can ask anything, huh? I need to think of something worth asking. It's safer to stay here. Don't go out because people are looking for you. But how am I supposed to eat? Don't worry, I'll bring you food. I think it's time for me to go to sleep. It's getting late. Where is the white-haired girl? She's here, sir. Good job. You caught her before anyone else did. That's it. Take the scissors and cut her hair for me. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Amara. He offered me a lot of money to do Wait, this. Wait, one second. Before you do anything. Hair, please make everyone forget about my hair color. Did it work? Did what work? And why am I holding a scissors? What is this thing? Wait, so you can't see my hair color? Yes, I can. It's blue. You're poor. That explains why you're sleeping in this underground garage. Anyways, we have a job we need to get to. Hey babe, we should go to the carnival today. Good idea. Let's bring Jenny. Wait, no. Don't bring her. I was kind of hoping that... Hey Jenny, want to come to the carnival with us? Yeah? Sick. See you there. Sorry, what did you say? Let's go on that ride. Yeah, let's go. I don't know, it's kind of... Okay, you're already going. Uh, there's only space for two people. Oh, um... You know what? It's fine, just go have fun, I'll stay here. Oh my gosh, thanks so much for winning me the earrings. Don't worry, babe, I didn't forget about you. A ball. Thanks. I'm gonna get us something to eat. I got a surprise, let's share. Oh, um, I'm sharing pizza with Jenny. Hey Ryan, wanna come to the carnival? Who are you inviting? Oh, just my best friend. Hey Ryan, you wanna come to the carnival? Who are you inviting? Oh, just my best friend. No, don't bring him. What was that? You're coming. Sick, see you in a bit. Sorry, what did you say? Oh look, it's him. Ryan, over here. So what ride should we go on? Let's go on that one. That was so much fun. I got you a little gift. Oh, flowers. Hey babe, hold the ball. Thank you so much. I hope you like it. How did you know this was my favorite ice cream? That's it. I know you brought him to make me jealous. Relax, it's not a big deal. Did you really? No, I didn't. I'm leaving. Wait. Yeah, I'm leaving too. See what you just did? Now we're stuck here together. Good. Look, I'm really sorry for inviting Jenny. I shouldn't have. Amara, reach me my lipstick, please. Why so expensive? Psst, hey, do you have a spare pencil? Yeah, hey. See, now that's a more reasonable price. 
Amara, I got you your gift. Here you go. A bracelet. Do you like it? I mean, it's not too bad. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome, honey. Excuse me, you dropped your... Hey, what are you doing? It's empty. How is this worth 70 million? Oh, it doesn't work like that. Let me explain. It's empty. How is this worth 70 million? Oh, it doesn't work like that. Let me explain. Whenever you touch an item that belongs to someone else, you can see how much money they have in their bank so, account. So, how do you have 70 million in your bank account? Um, I have an online business. Yeah, right. What's it called? Um, exactly. You're lying. I have to go. I wonder how she made so much money. Maybe she robbed the bank. Why won't you tell me how you made so much money? You only have 25 pounds. How do you know how much money I have? I have the same power as you. I'm surprised you haven't used it to make money. What do you mean by that? You know how you can see how much money people have? Once the money appears above your head, just click it and it will get transferred to you. You know how you can see how much money people have? Once the money appears above your head, just click it and it will get transferred to you. Wait, that's how you have 70 million? Yeah, exactly. Hey Sarah, can I use your phone to call my mom? Mine's out of battery. Sure. Thanks. Hey, do you have a lip gloss I can borrow real quick? I forgot mine at home. Of course. Thank you so much. Hello? Amara, what have you done to yourself? Are you out of your mind? Please don't give me more than one day to live. Four minutes. Even better. You got four minutes only? How are you not freaking out? Why would I? I'm finally getting out of this shitty life. Only one minute left. Let's go. I'm not gonna let you die. There's no way. I'm afraid there's nothing you can do now, sis. Yes, I can just give you more time. No! What the hell is wrong with you? A whole month? I can just give my days away to someone who needs it. Very funny. That's not how it works. You can't give away any time that's been given to you. I hate you. Finally, it's been the longest month of my life. Not so fast. I'm not gonna let you die either. I'm not doing the same mistake again. <laughs> yes, it's finally happening. Three, two, one. Yes, it's finally happening. Three, two, one. Oh, come on. Please don't do this to me. You're still here? I thought your time ran out. Yes, I am. Because this stupid thing decided to give me infinite life. You should be thankful for that. Haven't you heard anything I've said? I do not want to live. Why is it always the person that wants to die that ends up living the longest? You can help me. Hit, kill me. You're insane. I'll pay you. Please? No. What did you do to make your time change anyway? I killed my teacher. What is actually wrong with what? you? I didn't know if you killed someone you'd end up with the remaining time. Too bad for you. You're stuck here forever now. No. No, I'm not. Because I have an idea. What's your idea? I'll just pay someone else to kill me. Hey, are you the girl with the infinite life? Yeah. I can help you get rid of it. How? It's very easy. All you need to do is... Congratulations, students. You got your percentages today. Remember, there's only one special person that's 100% compatible. Honey, can you pass me the milk, please? Yeah. Mom, I got a new friend today. His name is Alex. Can I meet him? No. Why? Because he's my friend. Why would you want to meet him? Amara, we finally got our percentages. I know. Do you fancy any of the boys? How about your brother's friend, Alex? He's cute. He is, but my brother doesn't even let me get close to him in case we touch him, we're compatible. Mom, I'm home! Oh, hey, Alex. No, no. Stay away from each other. You know the rules. Hey, do you know where your brother is? He said he went out to buy food, but I haven't seen him since. Okay, could you pass me my phone, please? I'll call him to see where he yeah, is. Yes, sure. Can you pass me my phone, please? I'll call him yeah, to see where sure. he is. Sorry, uh, I didn't mean to touch your hand. Yeah, me neither. Hey guys, I'm back. What are you guys doing together? I told you to stay away from each other. He was just asking me if I knew where you were. Whatever. Alex, come, let's go. Amara, guess what? I found out who I'm compatible with. It's Jacob. Did you find out who yours is? I did, but you have to promise not to tell anyone. I promise. It's Alex. Alex, as in your brother's best friend? Yeah. I knew it. How did your brother react? He still doesn't know. You have to tell him. I don't want to. Besides, Alex still hasn't said anything about it, so I'm sure he wants to keep it a secret too. It's better you tell him before Alex does. Tell me what? I'm leaving. 
Wait! See what you just done? I didn't do anything. All I did was telling the truth. Can't you just wait? Wait for what? For you to tell me to lie to him? He's my friend. I'm not gonna do that. You're right. But what do we do now? He'll get over it eventually, but I think you should apologize. Apologize for what? Um, for lying and telling him me and Jenny are compatible. Oh, right. I'll be right back. Hey. I don't want to talk to you right now. Can you stop being like that? Look, I'm sorry I lied to you, but you would have freaked out if I told you the truth. Out of everyone, you had to take my best friend away from me. Why can't you just have picked any okay, other guy? All, I'm not the one in control of this thing. Second, I'm not taking anyone away from you. He's still your friend. But you're going to be dating him. That's so weird. If you really want what's best for me, then you have to accept it. Okay, fine. But please, don't do none of that relationship stuff in front of me. It's cringe. Deal. Morning, Dad. What power did you get? I can see people's location. Can you see where your mom is? Yeah, sure. Where's mom? So, where is she? She's, um, on her way back home. I need to go. I heard you can see people's location. True. Can you see where my boyfriend is? Sure. She didn't come to school. Where's Mike? It says he's at your house. What? Why is he at my house? I'm not even there. Dad, I'm home. Dad? Hey, honey, sorry I was in the basement. Can you help me carry some boxes? Yeah, downstairs? sure. Dad? Why is he calling me? He's just downstairs. Hello? Hey, honey, sorry I'm a bit late. Do you mind ordering pizza for when I'm back? But aren't you downstairs? Uh, no. So are you coming to help or not? Sorry I'm late. Do you mind ordering pizza for when I'm back? But aren't you downstairs? Uh, no. So are you coming to help or not? Okay, this isn't funny. I know you're at home. What are you talking about? I don't have time for this. <sighs> then who the hell is downstairs? <sighs> Finally, what took you so long? Dad, what's wrong with you? Why would you scare me like that? Um, I don't know what you're talking about. Seriously? You're still trying to mess with me? No, I literally don't know what you're talking okay, about. Okay, because of your little prank, you made me call the police. You called who? And that must be them. Give me a second. Hey, yeah, sorry for calling you. Turns out my dad was just pranking me. Honey, why is the police here? Dad, weren't you just inside? No, I just got back from work. Honey, why is the police here? Dad, weren't you just inside? No, I just got back from work. If you're here, then who the hell is inside? Can we come in to check? Yeah, sure, go ahead. There's no one inside. We've looked everywhere. What do you mean? He just told me to help him with these boxes. What boxes? They were just here, I swear. Okay, I see what's happening. Don't call us again. Wait. Are you happy? You just made yourself look like a fool. But that. Go to your room now. Why is there a note on my bed? Don't trust your dad. You will soon know the truth. Famous or random? I think I'll go for famous. If I choose random, it can be something weird. So, famous it is. Mom, I'm going to school. Okay, but why are you wearing a mask? No reason. Is it because you're ugly? Look at your sister. At least she's famous. I don't think you'll ever be as famous as her. Look, that's the new girl. Her face must be ugly. That's why she wears a mask. I'm just wearing a mask so you guys won't know my identity. Even if you take that mask off, I won't know who you are because you're not famous. Okay, fine. Class, there's going to be an audition coming up. The most talented student will be chosen to act in a very famous movie. Who wants to participate? Me! I want to participate. You have to be famous to participate. You're not even popular at school. No one knows who you are. If you're not famous, you can't participate. But I thought the auditions were open for everyone. Don't embarrass our school. Why would you even want to participate? You're a no one. Yeah, and she's wearing a mask. You can't see her face. Take off the mask, please, so we can see your face. Take off the mask, please, so we can see your face. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. It's Amara. See? I told you I was famous. Now can I join the audition? Uh, of course you can. Oh my gosh, this is going to give such good publicity to our school. Sis, don't be happy just yet. Even if you pass the audition, I'm going to be the main character. And be the favorite child, as always. So there's no point trying. So you're hoping to be main character? <sighs> Obviously that's not going to happen. I'm more famous than you. You seem pretty convinced. Let's see who the main character will be. Sir, do you know if I got the role? Yes, you got accepted. But your sister Ava also got accepted. Ava? Yes, she's also going to be participating in the movie. 
Look at her, she's so desperate to get the main role. I know, right? I mean, obviously you will be the main character. I really have to be the main character. Oh, yes, I still have this random chocolate. I just need to find a way for her to eat it. Where is she? I will now announce that the main character in the film is... Oh, yes, I still have this random chocolate. I just need to find a way for her to eat it. Where is she? I will now announce that the main character in the film is... Ava! Yes, I knew it! I told you, no matter what you do, I'll always win. Mom and Dad are going to be so proud of me. Mom, Dad, I got the role! That's great, honey. You always make us so proud. Yeah, and Amara's also going to be in the film, but she's just going to be an extra. I'm surprised she even got the role as an extra. She never works hard for anything. This isn't fair. Why does she always get everything she wants? My only hope is this chocolate. Hopefully it will make her not famous anymore so that I can get the role. Hey sis, um, I just wanted to say congrats on the role. I'm sorry I wasn't too nice to you. The truth is, I was a bit jealous. Of course you were jealous. I mean, who is it? Yeah, you have the perfect life. Anyway, I bought you this chocolate as a little gift. Aw, thanks. Are you just going to stare at me while I sorry, eat it? Sorry, um, I'll leave. Okay, now we just have to wait and see if the chocolate will make her not famous anymore. Okay, so now we just have to wait and see if the chocolate will make her not famous anymore. Morning, Mom. Mom, I can't believe this. This is the worst day of my life. What happened, honey? Why does it say nerd on top of my head? This is going to ruin my whole career. Don't worry, honey. There must be a mistake in the system. We can fix it. Amara, why are you just standing there? Do something useful and help your sister out. But, Mom, I have a really important... I don't care what you have. Your sister's more important than that. Now go get help. Why don't you just go get help yourself? I'm leaving. If you walk out now, don't ever come back. Gladly. Oh my gosh, did you guys hear? Apparently Ava went from famous to a nerd. That's so weird. How could that happen? Congrats, bestie. I knew you could do it. Do what? You don't know. Everyone's talking about you. No, but what? Tell me. Because your sister isn't famous anymore, you get the role as the main character. A simple house or a luxury house? Who wants to live in a simple house? Of course I'm going to choose a luxury house. Wow, this house looks like a palace. Honey, what have you done? How come our house looks so luxurious? I got the option to choose between a luxury house and a simple house. And I chose the luxury house, mom. Whoa, this way I don't have to be ashamed anymore if any of our neighbors decide to come visit. Do you guys want to come mines after school? Of course, your house is so luxurious. I wonder what Amara's house looks like. I've seen it. It's really disgusting. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Why are you talking to us? What did I do wrong? You are wrong because you're not rich. Let's go, Jenny. What? This year, our class sleepover is going to be at Jenny's house again, okay? I don't mind sleeping at hers. Her house is beautiful, unlike Amara's house. Guys, don't you want to come to my house? I'm having a birthday party there. In your smelly house? <laughs> it sucks. I don't want to come. I don't want to come either. It's dirty. But my house is not as old as you think. Don't lie. I've seen you go to your house after school. It looks really dirty. Enough. All right, Amara. I'll give you a chance. Everyone's going to your birthday party, but if your house is what everyone's saying it is, the sleepover will be at Jenny's house. Okay, sir. I understand. They'll soon know the truth, but I have to get ready before they come. I wonder what the reaction will be like. Oh my god, that must be them. I can't wait to see Jenny's reaction. Hello, guys. Whoa, is this really your house, Amara? Yes, sir. This is my house. I can't believe it, sir. I saw her once go home after school, but it wasn't in this house. Amara, is this really your house or are you lying to her? Of course not, sir. This is my house. Why would I be lying? I don't believe her. She doesn't want to admit that this house isn't hers. This house is too beautiful to be Amara's. Okay, I'll give you 24 hours to prove that this house is really yours. And if you can't prove it, the sleepover will be at Jenny's house again. Okay, sir. What happened, honey? My classmates and my teacher think that I'm lying about this house being mine. But why didn't you prove to them that the house is yours? How can I do that? You can show them the contract of this house, but the contract is still with your dad and he's overseas. So I have to wait for him to come back? My teacher only gave me 24 hours to prove it, mom. Your dad's coming home tonight. Don't worry. All right, mom. I'm going for a walk. I'm so angry. Of course that house isn't Amara's, but she won't admit it. But if it's true that the house is hers, the sleepover will be there every year and not at your house anymore. Of course not. She's lying. I've seen her house. It's not the one we went to today. My dad's not home yet. Honey, I'm home. 
Dad, finally. Did you have the contract for the house? Yeah, your mom told me you needed it, right? Here you go. Thank you so much, Dad. This is going to solve all my problems. It's almost been 24 hours and Amara still hasn't proven that the house is hers. See, sir, I told you she was lying. If she doesn't prove it quickly, the sleepover will be at yours and she'll get kicked out of school for lying. I'm sure the house isn't hers. I have to show them. Sorry I'm late, sir. Did you bring what I asked for? Jenny, why did she come to school? I thought she wouldn't come because she doesn't have proof. Yes, sir, I brought it. Here you go. Good. Now, let's see if the house is really yours. Oh my god, so that luxurious house is really yours, Amara? That house is really Amara's? Yes, see, sir, I wasn't lying about the house being mine. Jenny, are you ready to leave school? Amara wasn't lying. I'm sorry, sir. Please don't kick me out of the school and keep the sleepover at my house. Because my house is still more luxurious than Amara's. Jenny, the sleepover was at your house last year. Your house is really luxurious, but Amara's even more. But that was last year, sir. My house has changed. It's more luxurious now. Okay, students, let's go to Jenny's later to see the current state of our house. Okay, sir. Sir, can I go too? Of course, Amara. All students in class can go. I'm sorry, sir, but I don't want Amara to come to my house. What? Why not? You went to my house too, and I didn't care about it, even though you called me a liar. It's my house, and when I say no, it means no. Why doesn't Jenny want me to go to her house? What does she have against me? I feel sorry for you, Amara. Even though I'm friends with Jenny, I'm sorry. You don't have to feel sorry, Olivia. You know what? Just come with me to Jenny's house. If she says anything, I'll take the blame. Okay. Hey, Jenny. Hey, Olivia. <gasps> Wait, why did you bring Amara here? Oh, come on. Just let her in. You feel sorry for her, don't you? Do you want to get removed from our friend group? No, Jenny, but... Hey, what's that noise? Can you guys stop fighting? Amara, come on in. Whoa, your house has changed a lot. Yes, sir, I hope you like it so that the sleepover can continue to be here. Okay, I've made my decision. This year's class sleepover will be at... Whoa, your house has changed a lot. Yes, sir, I hope you like it so that the sleepover can continue to be here. Okay, I've made my decision. This year's class sleepover will be at... Jenny's house. As I expected, because my house is better than yours. But, sir... Okay, everyone, get ready. We'll meet at Jenny's house tonight at 8 p.m. One more thing, sir. I don't want Amara to come to my house. But I'm also part of your class. When I say no, it means no. Amara, don't make this a big deal. Just listen to Jenny. It's her house after all. Okay, sir. How dare Jenny not let me go to the class sleepover? Why don't you just go regardless? Well, it's easy for you to say. You're Jenny's best friend. And if you really liked me, you wouldn't even go to the sleepover. You know what? You're right. Why don't you replace me at the sleepover? Replace you? But won't Jenny be angry? She won't be angry. Because if there's one less person, she won't be able to do the sleepover. Oh, I see. Thanks, Olivia. You're welcome. What are you doing here? I said you couldn't come. Plus, there's no one here yet. What happened to your house? I don't know. I just got here and found it like this. Someone must have came to mess it up. It was you, wasn't it? Me? What? No. This whole place is a mess. What am I going to do? Jenny, we're here. Open the door. Do not even think about it. I'm going to count to three and you have to open the door. One, two, three. Everyone, remember, do not draw on your face, okay? Because everything you draw on your face will appear on your soulmate's face. Huh? Who would want to draw on their face? Don't be surprised. There's a lot of people who do it. Look at Liam, for example. He's been drawing superheroes on his face for the whole day. Liam, why would you draw on your face? So I can meet my soulmate faster. As soon as I see someone with a superhero drawing on their face, I'll know it's them straight away. I would not want to be his soulmate. Why is everyone dying to meet their soulmates? Amara, you really don't want to meet your soulmate soon? No, and besides, I don't believe in soulmates. Look at my parents. They've been married for 24 years and got divorced because my dad cheated on my mom. That's your dad's fault. Look at my parents. They're still together and they're in the 50s. You never know. It's not like your dad's going to tell you if he cheated on your mom. What the heck, Amara? You're so evil. Well, sorry for being honest. Come, Amara, help me draw my face. I'm not going to draw on your face, Jenny. She's so weird. I feel bad for her soulmate. Honey, how come your friend's face is filled with scribbles? Because she's dying to meet her soulmate, mom. Oh, but how come you don't have anything on your face? Because I don't want a soulmate. I don't want to get cheated on like you. Huh? Jenny? Why would my soulmate write Jenny on his forehead? This is so annoying. I have to cover this. 
Out of all girls, why would he write Jenny? She's so weird. Leah, how come you still haven't drawn anything on your face like the others? Um, because I'm waiting for you to do it first. Why are you waiting for me? Just go ahead. Don't worry about me. It's because I hope you're my soulmate, Amara. Did you see Aiden's face this morning? Yes, he has Jenny written on his forehead. But that's so strange. Jenny's a freaking psychopath. Aiden, why do you have Jenny written on your forehead like that? For the last time, I didn't even write her name. She did it while I fell asleep at basketball practice. We have the same names written on our foreheads. Could that mean we're... Why isn't it coming off? Amara, I just wanted to let you know that... Wait, you're Aiden's soulmate? I can't believe this. Jenny? Why isn't it coming off? Amara, I just wanted to let you know that... Wait, you're Aiden's soulmate? Jenny? Your, your forehead clearly has my name on it, and I wrote my no, name wait, on it. No, wait, I can explain. Yesterday. You don't need to explain. Come with me. <sighs> Leah, please help me. Jenny wants to torture me because she knows Aiden's my soulmate. What? So you're Aiden's soulmate? Yes. Ouch. Help me. Why are you just standing there? You want to know why Leah's just standing there? Because she can't accept the fact that Aiden's your soulmate. Huh? But why? Are you an idiot or are you pretending to be one? It's because she likes you, duh. Really? Yes, Amara. And if I'm not your soulmate, no one else can be your soulmate. Leah, please help me. We've been friends for a long time. I promise if you help me, I'll go on a date with you. We all know you're just lying. Ouch. Where am I? You're up early. Do you like the movie Rapunzel? You must love it. Huh, this Jenny? Tell me where we are now and why am I in handcuffs? So that you don't run away, silly. Yeah, you asked earlier where we are. We're in my family's secret tower in France. I'm in France? Yeah, just take a look outside. It's beautiful, isn't it? Leah, help me. You know my mom will be worried if I don't come home. Don't worry about your mom. I told her the school took us to France as exchange students. And that they confiscated your phone so that she can't call you. Impossible. My mom would never believe that. Of course she would, and she did. She would never doubt your childhood friend, right, Leah? What? We're gonna leave now. Because I'm feeling nice, I'll leave you some food and drinks. But it's only gonna be enough for a couple of months. You're just gonna leave me alone? Yeah, and good luck trying to run away. Access in and out of this tower can what? only be made by a helicopter. Bye! I hope the next time I see you, I see you as a corpse. Okay, Amara, don't panic. I can just ask Aiden for help. Whatever I paint on my face will also appear on his face, right? But I don't have any pen or marker. I can just use my blood. Do you think he'll understand this? Should I draw a picture of a tower too? Maybe it'll make it easier for him to find me. I really hope he sees that this is a tower. I'm so tired. <gasps> you need help, yes or no? This means he understood what I meant. <gasps> you need help, yes or no? This means he understood what I meant. Okay, so all I need to do is wait. It's been three days. How come there's still no sign of help? What if Jenny saw what I wrote on his face and she kidnapped him too? I'm so stupid. I should have never wrote that I needed help. I need to get out of here before I stop to death. Huh? That sounds like a helicopter. Could it be Jenny and Leah again? I have to hide. Gosh, this tower's so tall. Amara, where are you? Who the hell is that? It doesn't sound like Aiden. Maybe Jenna and Leah hired the hitman. I think your tracking device is wrong. There's no way Amara's in a tower like this. But we've traveled all the way to France. Mom? How come my mom is here? Did you hear that? That sounded like Amara. Yes, I did. Let's look for her in that room. Amara, how did you get here? Honey, what crazy kidnapper brought you here? I can't believe you two are here. You really don't know who kidnapped me. I mean, I did suspect Leah when she said the school sent you to France as exchange students. Because you're not smart enough to be sent as an exchange student. And also, they wouldn't send you to France. The school only sends students to Germany. But how did you find me? Remember that gold ring I gave you? I put a tracker inside of it, so if you ever snuck out, I'd know. <laughs> Why are you laughing? No reason. Let's get you out of it. So I guess you're my soulmate, huh? Since we have the same writing on our faces. I guess so. What are we gonna do about Jenny and Leah? We have to report them to the police. Did you forget they're both rich? I'm sure they can bribe the police and get away with it. Calm down. I have a plan. What happened to your sister? You're meant to take care of her! I told you, she accidentally fell down the bridge!
It wasn't my fault. She's gone. I'm so sorry. She's finally here. You're gonna be an older sister again. She's perfect. What's wrong? Mommy, I'm scared. Why are you scared, honey? I'm scared that Mara's gonna drop me off this bridge again. What's wrong? Mommy, I'm scared. Why are you scared, honey? I'm scared that Mara's gonna drop me off this bridge again. I don't know what she's talking about. That was so weird. How'd she know? I know that song. My grandma used to sing it to me before she died. How do you know that song? Grandma taught it to me. But grandma passed away five years before you were born. How do you know that song? Grandma taught it to me. But grandma died five years before you were born. What's that on your shoulder? My birthmark. How long has that been there for? Since I was born. Mom, do you remember the birthmark my sister had on her shoulder before she died? Yes. Isabel has the same one. And? I love you too. Who are you talking to? My imaginary friend. She says don't fall in that hole again. Mom, how does Isabel know about the park incident? What park incident? I fell into a hole at the park when I was six. So? You don't get it. Grandma was the only one who knew about it. You don't get it. Grandma was the only one who knew about it. You're just overthinking. No, I'm not. So how would it be possible? I don't know. It's time to go to bed. Why? Because it's late and you need to rest. What about that little girl? Mom, she pointed at this girl in the room and no one was there. She's crazy. I'm telling you, she needs help. Maybe you're the one that's going crazy. Why won't you believe me? Are you sure all of this is true? Yes, why would I lie about it? Well then, the only explanation would be that when your sister died, she was reincarnated into your new sister, Isabel. And now, she's looking for revenge. What do I need to do? You need to kill her before she kills you. Honey, congratulations on your height. Wow, I'm pretty tall. Everyone stops at 160 centimeters when they but turn why? 16. Because after that, nobody grows anymore. Whoa, you've grown so much. Yes, I'm already 130 centimeters. I'm 140. I'm sad that we're going to stop growing. I really want it to be tall. Class, time to take measurements. Amara, you go first. 150 centimeters. Congratulations. I'm 160 centimeters tall. Happy birthday, honey. You've grown so much. Thank you, mom. Your height is 160 centimeters, just like me and your dad. Are you not happy? Yeah, I'm very happy. Oh my gosh, look. What are you guys talking about? Your height. Come with me now. We have to speak with you. Is this your mom's phone number? Yeah, that's right. I came as quick as I can. What's happening? Your daughter has not stopped growing. How is this possible? Well, we suspect that she is the daughter of... How is this possible? Well, we suspect that she is the daughter of someone very tall. What's going to happen now? We're going to have to send you to a school, especially for tall people like you. You can't study with shorter people anymore. This is Amara. She'll be studying here from now on. Whoa, she's so tall. Are they also children of someone tall like me? Don't speak about that in class, okay? Why? Hey, you're so tall. Hello. Yes, I am. Why haven't you gotten your height checked yet? They didn't call me. Look at the ceiling. It's very high, isn't it? Whoa, yes, it is. We can grow up to 500 centimeters. That's why we need to take our special gummies. You wanted to see me? You're new here, right? Yes. Okay, here's your gummies. Take a gummy a day to stop your growth. Did you like the book? Yeah. All students, please come for a height check. Why do they do that? Listen, Amara, if you start to grow and get stronger, they'll put you to sleep in a freezer. So, your height is 300 centimeters. It's not too bad. If you reach 500 centimeters, we're going to have to take you away. So, please remember to take your gummies. Where are they? Looking for something? Yes, I lost my gummies. You can just take one of mine. But aren't they different? I think they're all the same. Good morning. Did everyone take the gummy? Yes, sir. Okay, everyone. We're going to play a game of hide and seek. Please hide in a good place so that no one will oh, find no. you. Oh, no. I'm growing again. What's going on? She's getting taller. I'm seven meters tall. What should I do now? You must eat one of these gummies to get taller, okay? Um, one is enough. Whoa. It's working very well. Don't eat anymore. 
Amara, you're too short to go to school here. If you don't return to your normal height by a week, you have to leave the school. How do I get my height back? I'm sorry, but we can't help you. Aw, oh, look how short she is. She really thought she could rule the world, but in the end, she became a shorty. Maybe I'll get taller than you. I don't even want to be tall anymore. I doubt you'll ever be tall again. Sir, please, I don't want to leave the school. You need to be at least 200 centimeters to join the school. You're much shorter than that. You can just give me some special gummies so I can grow taller. You're crazy. You should never do that. Why not? Hey, you're the one who wants to be tall again, right? Yeah, that's true. I've been researching and I found these new gummies for Thanks. growth. I just didn't work much on the formula, so there might be side effects. Well, it's working. Look at her. She keeps getting shorter and shorter. Soon, she'll disappear completely. Hey, I found new growth gummies. <sighs> but I'm scared to try it. They're much more powerful than the others. I'm sure they're going to work. Okay. Today's the day. Um, how did it get so many that fast? Fine. I hate you. Girl, you got this. He's already got five. I'm only on my second half. What? My next task is to find class. Yeah, you better not be sitting next to me then. Just because he said that, I'm going to sit right next to you. I'm so hungry. Cool, starve myself. Why not? I saw you didn't eat anything today, so I got you this. Thank you. Got the ticket. You've got to be kidding me. Can I have your number? No, sorry. I don't give my number to strangers. I beg you, can I please have your number? I mean, sure, since you're begging for it. No, my soul is so close to beating me. She has one more task. My soul has one task left too. Uh, I just got my last task. It says to kiss my soul no My last task is the same. What are you doing? Well, I have to kiss you to see if you're my soul not happening. You're not my type. I thought my soulmate was a basketball player. Can't be the door guy. I can't date a door guy. Why are you following me? I'm not. I work here, remember? I just came out for fresh air. Did you find your soulmate here? No. Maybe you should try completing the last task. Fine, I guess. I have nothing to do. It's just a dumb kiss. See? You're not my soulmate. I'll pick the paper. I already have a lot of gold at home. Girl, why did you choose the paper? Let me choose what I want. You'd rather choose the paper than 10 kilograms of gold? The paper's folded. Open it and see what it is. Don't open it? So what's this paper gonna do? Why do you always carry this paper everywhere? Oh, it's just to make sure no one opens it. So you still don't know what's inside the paper? <sighs> I'll open it when I'm ready. You're weird. This paper must contain answers. That's why your scores are always high. I don't need to cheat to get high scores. It's called studying, and this paper can't be opened up until I grow up. So open it now. You're an adult. If that paper isn't a cheat sheet, open it now. See, even the teacher thinks that, so now you have to open okay, it. Okay, I'll open it. Now you have to open it. Okay, I'll open it. What's on the paper? It's definitely answers for the test. Tell me what's in the paper. If you don't tell me, I'm going to have to expel you from the school. I'm sorry. I can't tell you. Like the teacher said, if you don't tell us, you're getting expelled. That's fine. I'd rather leave the school than tell you what's in this paper. Good thing they didn't see what's written in here. 
I know you will be confused, but soon you'll find out. Do not tell anyone what's written in this letter. Ryan. But who's Ryan? Mom, I just opened the letter I picked when I was little, but there's a person's name on it. You have to find out who wrote you the note, because it's... I'll get it. Hello? You've been accepted to your new Seriously? school. Seriously? But that paper you're holding, don't let anyone see what's written in it. Sure. How does he know what's written in it? Maybe it's him. What's your name? Hey, excuse me. Hey, boyfriend. Bro, I ordered someone with Kylie Jenner's body. What the fuck is this? What? Aren't you gonna ask me what's wrong? No. Hey, where do you think you're going? To your room. I'm tired. You're funny. You're sleeping on the couch. Oh, fine. Whatever. Come on in. So how was your night, boyfriend? I couldn't sleep with your arms and legs wrapped around me. Hey, don't forget your sunscreen. Touch me and I swear I'm going to sue that girlfriend shop. Hey, have you seen my phone in our room? Our room? Hey, have you seen my phone in our room? Our room? Did you find your phone? Yeah, it was on the bed. Where are you going? Can you just stop getting involved in everything? I'm going out with my friends. Okay, have fun. You're back. I made cheesecake. I'm allergic to cheese. Oh, sorry, I'll make another cake. Can you just stop? Stop what? Stop trying so hard to make me like you. It will never happen. Hey, I'm sorry for being such a prick to you. You don't deserve it. Thanks. Wanna watch a movie or something? Good morning, boyfriend. Where is he? Congratulations, you're invited to an interview. Excuse me, can I help you? I'm here for the interview. Name? Amara. Girlfriend number? Girlfriend. Any special skills? I'm good at writing stories, I like acting, dancing. Miss, you're not applying for a drama school. Oh. Girlfriend 305? Yeah, that's me. Your interview was successful. Really? Yeah, please come with me. I'm going to introduce you to your new boyfriend. Okay, there he is. Hey, Amara. No one tells me what to do. Ouch! Controlling much? Hey! Is that a hickey? What, this? No, I just burnt myself. Did it hurt? You have to follow the rules. A little. But I don't know it. Amara, thanks for volunteering. Whatever. You broke my phone! I'm so tired of the stupid game! Hell yeah! Hello there, sweet cheeks. What's wrong? My soulmate wants to cheat. You don't think it's the same cute customer you met at work, do you? I don't know. Well, the timing is suspicious, Amara. We'll see you on Monday. I want to be with you, but not like this. Is your soulmate still asking? Yeah. I think the cute guy that asked you to meet is your soulmate. Maybe. I'm gonna go meet him now. Okay, good luck, bestie. I really hope it's not the cute guy I met at work. It's getting late. Where is he? That's it. I'm going home. Wait, I have a message to deliver to you. Wait, I have a message to deliver. Sorry I couldn't see you today. Something happened. I'll make it up to you, I promise. So the cute guy from work didn't show up? No, but um, he sent me a letter that he promised to make it up to me and I just allowed him to discuss the issues he has with his girlfriend about the relationship. Hey, maybe he wants to start a relationship with you now. Isn't that good? No, because he was willing to cheat on her. What does that say when he's going to be with me? Honey, someone dropped this off at the door for you. Just throw it away. At least open it. There's a letter in there. A letter? 